I want to bring on a dear friend of mine <laughs> and a dear friend and a client, LB. Happy Spoil Yourself Sunday, Coach. I love it. You have one for every day of the week. Hey, LB, how you doing today? What's up, good people? This is exciting. You know, I never get enough to hear you teach. I'll be over here like, mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all the truth. Thank you so much for taking time to come at, for coming on. Um, I'm really excited to speak with you today. And um, LB is another, when I, when I shared earlier about networking across, LB is another of those relationships. I, I think we met back in 2013, LB. Yes, we met on, on the pavement. And when we say on the pavement, uh, we were both uh, a member of Black Girls Run, which was a running organization um, of Black women promoted, you know, with the aim to promote health and reduce cardiovascular disease, hypertension, hypertension and other things that tend to run rampant uh, when it comes to Black women. Mm -hmm. And we would meet at five o'clock in the morning. What was it, two or three days a week? Yes, ma'am. And we would run three to four miles. I met LB on the pavement. <laughs> I didn't know her before that. And um, over time, at one point, she mentored me. Um, at one point, I mentored her, but we become friends over the years and been really been able to support one another in um, our, our individual businesses. So please introduce everybody to the wonderful LB. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, again, happy Spoil Yourself Sunday. My name is Lakia Brandenburg, better known as LB. I am the wife coach and your Mrs. Married Makeover Specialist. All right. I make over married women who've been married about five, 15 years into irresistible wives because I truly want you to enjoy your marriage and the one you are doing marriage with. Um, I am super excited. I'm also an author of two books, Picture Perfect. He's not perfect. I'm not perfect. But together, we're Picture Perfect and the Tierra, Five Ways to Reign as Queen of Your Castle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. So I know that we started back working together this year. Yeah. Uh, can you kind of share where you were? Because you came as a published author already. You have written your books on your own. So can you just kind of share what, what some of, your challenges were? Yes. Well, coming back this year or when we started back in 2019. You can tell the whole story. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just say it like this. I started my authorpreneur journey back in 2012. Um, and I was just the one who wanted to write a book. Like, you know, somebody gave you an idea. I wrote a book. I'm a published author. I'm the, you know, talk of the town in my family. And I wasn't monetizing my message. Um, and I didn't realize that you could build a business from your book until Jazz kind of came and was like, look, what are you doing? You're, you're sitting on a gold mine. You're sitting on your books. Your books are collecting dust. And so she and I met up. She helped me create my very first signature program which was called Teach Me How to Be a Wife. Um, and from there, I was able to start my coaching program. So again, I went from just being an author, right, with two books, thinking I'm going to be traveling the world, signing books. I really thought that was my journey. I did. Don't tell nobody. But um, we changed that and it kind of it catapulted my career as a coach um, and really landing myself in, in anchoring myself as the wife coach and me helping married women to become wives. So that was the first part of our journey. Um, 2020 hit, uh, we took a, a break. And then I realized after being a part of Six Figure Storyteller Live that I needed to be with Jasmine again, um, as far as community is concerned, as far as helping to continue to grow my business. So we came back together, I joined the masterclass and one, the community itself was worth the investment. Let me just say that. Um, being connected, she's talking about being able to cross promote, but being in, in a community with people who all have the same agenda. They're all like-minded. They all want to grow businesses. They all are just, it's just an amazing community. So I've been able to once again, meet with Jazz. She challenges me. Um, she tell me to do something, I'll do it. And I think it was in November of last year where we had our first meeting and she said, hey, I need you to go ahead and put on a live event. I'm like, what? She challenges you like that. Like, you know, I just gotta trust her though. She knows stuff, she knows what she's talking about. So literally a month after that, like I think it was November 11th and I had my event on December 11th. That was my very first five hour event where I was able to, again, go through the process, teaching my ladies, look, showcasing I'm the best kept secret. I'm the one who's gonna teach you how to get your marriage back on track. And from there, I was able to launch my high ticket program. Um, and I believe uh, it was 13K, if I'm not mistaken. 
You made, very, yeah, I think it was like court, around 13 or 14K. Yeah, for that very for first um, court. Just because she told me, go do the live event. And I'm like, oh, I ain't got time. I'm off. <laughs> and I made it happen. And I'm just like, yo, anytime Jazz say do something, it's going to push me. But I've seen myself grow as in, um, like she was talking about the clarity, about moving. I'm getting more clarity. Because when I first started out, it was teach me how to be a wife. Now it's the makings of an irresistible wife. You see what I'm saying? But I had to get that through moving. So... I've been moving ever since and I ain't stopped. Awesome. 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 Thank you so much for sharing. So what would you say has been, um, some have been, cause you, you talked about the five hour virtual event, but what yes. would you say has been your biggest non-monetary win? Gosh, I think it's, I would say, I mean, I've always, always been confident, but mm -hmm. I think it's a whole nother level of confidence. Um, just in that confidence exudes in how I show up for my husband and for my kids and, you know, for my friends. So I feel that because I am seeing myself become who I've always desired to be, it's giving me a level of confidence. Like, yo, you can't mess with me, baby girl. Let's, let's do this thing. So I would say that. Absolutely. And so only if you're comfortable with it, um, what have, because I know you had the 13 K launch at the top of the year, but up to now, what have been some of your biggest monetary wins? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. See, coach, I, I know I'm supposed to know my numbers. Like, I don't know my numbers like you know my numbers. Um, I think within that first quarter, within the 90 days, I made close to 25K, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, I have to look at the numbers. But my biggest wins have been honestly raising my prices and increasing my prices, not just because you said it, but because I understood the value that I was presenting. Um, and one thing I love about you is you don't just say increase your prices. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm like, okay. If they ain't paying it at this price, why they gonna pay it at this price? You know, <laughs> but it's the mindset shift, and I believe that's also non-monetary that I was able to stretch and see the value that I offered. So for me, it's more than just monetary. It's me creating a sustainable business, knowing that I continue to build and grow and scale because of what you're teaching me. So you made twenty five thousand the first quarter. So what about up to now? So remember, I took a break. You took a break. Yeah. I did. But you, I but you've been doing them live events too. Uh, well, you know, I've been doing live events. <laughs> yes. I have been hosting. So let's see if I, don't even count one. Um, I would say, okay. Cause let me just tell everybody. So she talked about being able to reinvent yourself or to pivot. And so after my first cohort, I decided that it was time for me to pivot and go through my own makeover because I wanted to make sure again that LB was being known for something that people, when they saw LB, it wasn't like, oh, she's a wife coach too. It's like, no, she's the go-to. So it was about me changing my language and changing the women that I was attracting. Um, so I also was able to book um, a hosting event. I don't think coach told you about that. I do host events too, y'all. So I host my <laughs> live events and um, that was May. So that was a I would say 5,500. Oh, you, that was, yeah, that, that, yeah. Cause we, yeah, that was a different price that we talked about. So that's good. Yeah. <laughs> 5,500. I do, I do the work. <laughs> I do the work behind the scenes. So yeah, it's, it's been paying off more so than, yes, it's all about, of course, making money and things like that. But I think yeah. it's so much deeper than that. Absolutely. I am understanding how to move differently. And because of that, I think differently and I attract differently. So absolutely. So in your opinion, how do our programs differentiate from others? Because it's the university, it's the impact <laughs> university. Okay, y'all really, okay, look, we didn't say this, but we're both classroom teachers or former classroom teachers. So not only did we meet on the pavement as runners, but we were classroom teachers at the time. I can teach. Jasmine can teach. Like it's a whole nother level of expectation. Let me tell you, don't come in here playing. If you're not ready to do the work and the level of work, it's like PhD level. Like, dude, seriously, I'm back in college. But I promise you the the results that you see and how everything comes together. She is so thorough. Like, I, I just cannot believe that you don't do fluff. Like your fluff would do well. Like if, if you did, fluff. but um, you definitely, uh, you break things down. You make it very simplistic. I can see why you're a classroom teacher. You are a former classroom teacher and how your students were able to learn because you look at different learning styles. You give us assignments and it's like, y'all, if you're ready to go back to school, you in the right place. <laughs> and it's the school of building a business from your book. 
Like that's the thing, you're building a business from a book and it's something that you've done one time that's gonna constantly, consistently make you money. So I, I'm just grateful for the challenge because you really don't, you know, let us get away with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put you on the spot. What's your goal for this quarter for quarter three? What's your financial goal for quarter three? My financial goal for quarter three. Hold on, hold on two. Okay, it's fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand for quarter three. Oh, you know, you know, you about to knock that out the park. L B, get out of here. Don't don't play with me. <laughs> Working on mindset shifts. See, I got you know mindset shift. It's growing, y'all. I'm in pro- I'm, I'm a work in progress. You will never get to a point where you have arrived. Once you hit one level, you gotta go to I was a teacher making thirty thousand dollars a year. So you gotta understand to see a five-figure launch or to see fifteen thousand dollars in one month, that's a new lifestyle. And you have to get ready for that. You have to know how to manage that. You have to understand how to make that repeatable. You always talk about that. Don't be no one hit wonder. You got to rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So I'm rinse and repeating y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm super excited for you. And what is your family goal? Oh my quarter? God. So ugh, I love my family. I have an amazing husband, my boo, my bae, my baby daddy. We've been married for 12 years, 13 in October. I have a 14 year old cool kid. Her name is Demi. And I have a four year old souvenir from Jamaica. Her name is Lexi. So my goal with my family is to continue to do what I've been doing over the last uh, month and a half since I've been doing this makeover, spending more quality time with them, creating memories that can never be taken from them. Like money can't buy the memories that we make. We just had a game night the other night and just enjoying each other um, in that time. So for me, it's really just spending more time, get my freak on with my man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. I love it. I, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing, LB. Can you tell the room where we can connect with you, where we can follow you, and what you have coming up? Oh my God, coach. So, yes, if y'all are on Instagram, that is my playground. Um, find me at the wife coach. I'm also on Facebook. I'm doing better over there. Um, You can find me at uh, Lakia Brandenburg. But right now I am preparing for my first in-person retreat. Oh my God, my Mrs. Married makeover that's happening right here in Atlanta, July 16th. If you are interested in being a part because you know it's time for a makeover, like y'all going boring, stale marriage, mm -hmm, five to 15 years, then make sure you shoot me a DM makeover and I'll send you over to D so you can be a part. Thank you. Thank you so much, LB, for coming on. I love you. I love you too.